to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning everybody, ladies and gentlemen. It is early in the morning. Have a look at that. Yeah, the parking lot didn't get too full over here. Yeah, like one truck beside me over there, or maybe two it looks like. And then one truck over there, and that's pretty much it. There's a couple down there on the other parking lot as well, but I don't know, it's been nice and quiet down here today, so we are pretty much ready to go. It is uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. I could have left a little bit earlier. I could have had, I could have been on the road now for 15 minutes already, but uh, yeah, I was a little lazy again this morning. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little hard getting up at 4 in the morning, you know. But uh, we are up. We are just about ready to go. Uh, not much left to do and uh, we got 543 miles to go to our uh, first delivery so that should be no problem should be able to make that and then we'll try and get our load off today we gotta get fuel today though probably stop in Oklahoma City and get some go, -go juice this morning yeah, that's the plan anyways. So let's get this truck rolling down the road and uh, come and uh, join along with me and see out of the window what I see. And maybe in the corner up there you might see me a little bit or maybe in that corner. I don't know which corner it is, but uh, yeah. So you might get to see me a little bit and get to see the sceneries and uh, beautiful areas that I get to see up here you know uh, I'm gonna go into some new areas that I haven't been in before uh, I have been in Laredo before but I haven't been up there by Mac Allen Texas area before so it's definitely gonna be a new journey in my life so let's stay tuned and we'll show you everything that we can well guys we are in oklahoma city look at that big uh, thing up there where <laughs> that uh, wheel or whatever you call it it's got some cool lights on it i just thought it was pretty cool so we stopped here at the fly and j got some gogo -go juice and we got the cup of coffee Hey go! Now we are ready for our journey through uh, Oklahoma City. It uh, doesn't look too bad with traffic just yet, so we are uh, we are pretty much in good shape. But uh, hey, we gotta go. Oh my! There's a lot of trucks trying to check into that company. My goodness! Wow, it must be opening pretty early because it's like 6.18 right now and this is a long lineup already. Oh well, we got 453 miles to go to our delivery place so long ways to go yet. We'll get there eventually. The sun should be coming up here pretty soon too. I think I looked yesterday further north, it was at 7 o'clock when it comes up, so it's a little bit further south already from when I looked, so it should probably come up a little earlier. Yeah. Well, it's been a good morning so far. We got an hour and a half behind us already. Ahead. Just hoping we can get through uh, Oklahoma City before rush hour. Oh wow, look at these Christmas trees they already got up here to the right. Wow, that's gorgeous. Looks like they're going to be even putting up some more yet than they already have. That's what it looks like. Man, 
now is the time where beautiful lights will come to light. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey. And then uh, you'll get to see me on a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we are in the Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas area. Well, Dallas is further east, but on the west side it's called Fort Worth, Texas. What do we got here? We got some kind of alert here. Westbound, uh, some kind of incident. All lanes closed on 820. And I don't think I'll be going on 820 as far as I know. We just went past the uh, Motor Speedway uh, where they race cars, you know. Yeah. But it's gotten a little bit cloudy. And that's alright. We had yesterday's and the days before us was nice and sunny. That's right. So hopefully we can get through uh, Fort Worth, uh, Texas here without too much of a hassle. And a couple of four-wheelers here that want to come over, but four-wheeler right beside me, so I don't want to cut him off. So there we go. There you go. Now you got it. Now you can come in here. So let's get back into the right lane. The trucks are always supposed to be in our right lane, unless there's a sign saying otherwise. But general thumbs of rule is that trucks are supposed to drive in the right lane. And as Pale Rider TV had a video out there this last weekend saying, no tailgating. I like that video. It was really cool. You should check it out. Go to Pale Rider TV on YouTube. You'll find it. Yeah. Looks like I can see the big city up there. Just past that overpass, you'll probably see some big buildings up there. That's right. Yeah. Uh-oh, I see brake lights coming on. Uh-oh, what do we got up here? Well, it's some kind of cops up there. Well, we better put the four ways on. I guess this is what they were talking about. There was some kind of incident up here and all lanes were closed. My goodness, that's not good. Wow. I guess we're just gonna have to see what happened. Looks like there's a car in the ditch up there. Let's see if we can still manage to squeeze by here without too much of a trouble. Looks like some skid marks of a tractor trailer up here too. It looks like it's moving though. Yeah, look at that. There's that four wheel. Oh, it looks like he got stuck in there. Maybe almost looks like they use this as a as a ramp to get back onto uh, the service road up there instead of being in traffic and it looks like they got stuck. <laughs> Well, that's what you get if you don't take the actual road, you know. Let's turn our four ways off. Everybody behind me is slow down now. So, we'll see how long this traffic jam will be, but I sort of suspected that we might get into a little bit of a traffic jam up here. Yeah, it's always like that in Dallas. We, uh, we know that from a couple of months or two months ago when we come through uh, Dallas. Actually, that was further east. You remember me being late to my delivery when I had to deliver up there? Well, that's the way it goes sometimes up here. Well, at least we're rolling. We're not completely at a standstill. So we'll eventually we'll get through here. Here we are at a rest area in Texas. And have a look at that. You probably would never see a wall like this in uh, any other place than Texas, eh? And that's how a look. A well, I think a well, that's what they call it. Yeah, that's how we look at this. This pipe probably goes right down there into the earth. And look at that. It's pulling out water. Look at that. See that? That's where the water is coming out. That's what I grew up with, you know, something like that. I'm completely uh, familiar with that, you know. They got a nice little deck over here. 
for people to sit over. Nice big rest area, you know. Only in Texas will you see something nice like this. And they got a looks like a barn over there. Yeah, you see that a round building like that? Looks like a barn, eh? So let's go inside here and see what they got inside. That's how a look looks like. Oh my! Wow, that's nice. Let's take a look at this tractor over here. Wow, that's an old tractor, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you my grandpa would probably recognize a tractor like this. That's sure. Look at the red. <laughs> wow. That's kind of cool. Got some history over here. Too bad I don't have a whole lot of time to uh, to look at everything. But we got some horses over here. Looks like they even got a buffalo. Yeah. They got a buffalo over here. Nice. Uh, screen in there. Anyways, we're gonna go into the restroom, so we'll see you later. Well, guys, they even got another deck, a couple of decks over here. There's a deck over there, over there. And they even got a place where uh, the kids can play. You see that? There's a kid playing right there. But uh, yeah, it's a nice rest area. They got another deck up there as well. Now, look at that. Another deck up there. And they even got a bus station down here where the bus can stop. It. Anyways, we'll see you in a bit. Well, we had a couple of sandwiches. Had ourselves a little bit of a bite to eat. And now it's time to get out of here. Now this is a fairly nice big size uh, parking lot for a rest area. I mean, look at how many trucks could park in here overnight, you know? That's fantastic. I appreciate you tags us for having a nice big rest area like this that gives us opportunity to park somewhere safely and I really mean that because we are struggling to get enough parking for all of the trucks out there on the road you know it's always a struggle especially later on at night to find a parking spot and if you have a nice big rest area like this it is much easier for somebody that's just looking for a place to spend the night at, you know? You don't have a lot of options in those rest areas, for instance, for food and stuff. You can't take a shower in there, but at least you have a place where you can safely park at, you know? These are very, very nice rest areas. That indeed is true. Well, we got 186 miles to go. We'll be at our delivery place. Hopefully the traffic ain't gonna be too bad towards there yet, you know. Keep my fingers crossed and get there on time to do my delivery. GPS says quarter to three, we should be there. We should be there on time. So let's put the hammer down and make our way that direction, right? Well, 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 we are just about to hit our delivery. Well, I guess not this exit. I gotta take the next one. In a quarter of a mile, take back up 3009 Natural Bridge Caverns Road and then turn right in 0 0.9 miles. All right. RJ is telling me to do and we got a little bit of a going down that way and uh, we should be at our delivery place here very soon so it's just about three o'clock and apparently they're open till 4 30 so we should have no problem getting to our uh, our delivery place that's right get down there and see if we can uh, make our delivery today a half mile, turn that would right be awesome natural bridge caverns road at dump 3009 yeah look at that there's actually a walmart down there too is there a 
there's a truck in there, but I don't know if they would want us in here, you know. Kind of wouldn't mind just parking around here and waiting until tomorrow, line. but. Turn right on. Natural bridge yeah. Road. Back from 3, I kind of doubt that. But we gotta go in here, make our delivery. Yeah. Got a little bit of a gas station or something up here, but no truck parking. Yep, but I do have a little bit of time that I have left on the logbook. By the time we're uh, done doing our delivery up here, I gotta make a left up here, so we're gonna move over to this way. It's supposed to be just down the road over here. Yeah. So let's see if we can find our place and I will see you guys a bit later. We are done for today. Yeah. I'm on the south side of San Antonio at the pilot. And uh, we're only about 138 miles away from my second delivery. So that should be about two and a half hours worth of driving, I think. About that. <clears throat> and then we should be at our. Uh, second delivery so i figured i sh close off the show and uh maybe i'll render the video so that way i don't have to uh worry about it you know so that way it's all in the system and ready to go but uh when i came in here i had to come this way and pull into the pilot just on the other side of the uh intersection there it was a uh, Mexican truck over there that uh, sells burritos so uh, I went inside and had me a shower and then I walked over there and I had me a burrito very nice burrito pretty cheap too I figured well I've been eating in the truck all week long already it was time to eat a nice burrito for a change I just couldn't help it I don't get to Texas very often so uh, I figured you know what I'm gonna take this opportunity to have a nice burrito and I did with a bottle of coke and a burrito 875 what a nice cheap dinner and it was a good dinner too yeah so let's get to editing and then we'll see you guys again tomorrow so have a good one and stick around for tomorrow behind me